633, more witnesses will take the stand in Alex Jones's second trial here in Connecticut. The conspiracy theorist has already been found liable for damages for calling the Sandy Hook shooting a hoax. So he is not in the courtroom, but his team is. And now a jury will determine how much damages will be. Channel 3 Waterbury Bureau Chief Dennis Valera is breaking down highlights from day one of the trial. And Dennis, emotional testimony on the stand. Yes, Wendell and Kaylin, very emotional. We first heard from an FBI agent who responded to Sandy Hook the day of the shooting, as well as the sister of Vicki Soto, one of the teachers killed in this tragedy, both describing not only the pain from that day, but also the experience of being branded as crisis actors. Bill Aldenberg described the moments he arrived to the school, finding bodies of victims as he got there, choking up several times while he gave his testimony. Carly Soto Parisi was the second to take the stand. Through tears, she described the moment she found out her sister was gone. Both talked about the aftermath of dealing with Jones's conspiracy theory, saying because of him, they were overwhelmed with accusations of lying and death threats. It's one of the worst things that ever happened, if not the worst thing that ever happened here. Right? What happened to them? And and people want to say this didn't, didn't happen? And and then they want to get rich off of it? You know, that's the worst part. In his cross-examination with both witnesses, Jones's attorney, Norm Pattis, tried to question why it took until 2018 for a lawsuit to be filed, but he did not get really far with either witness. Now, more witnesses will start taking the stand starting at 10 this morning. We will be streaming the trial live, so you can tune in on the Channel 3 app. We're live in Waterbury. Dennis Valera, Channel 3, Eyewitness News. Dennis, thank you. It's 6.30.